Hi, I'm out of darts. Today, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I've seen the drain blasters being done online and uh, I got this one to do darts. And of course, the second it showed up, the first thing I had to try was what will it do to a rival ball? Uh, now I know uh, Fireheart uh, 318s Reddit on Reddit uh, had mentioned and asked about something uh, to do with this and hadn't done one yet, or I haven't seen pictures or videos. So as far as I know, I'm the first person to actually do a video on this or uh, actual actually try it out. But others have probably done it. I just want to give credit where I can. There's also Skipern or Skapern on Reddit. I'll link both of the posts uh, down below in the description. He also did, uh, he or she rather, also did a um, uh, some uh, mock-up of something for a Reddit uh, drain blaster or something kind of similar anyway. Um, these drain blasters are kind of crazy. They're just meant for clearing drains. I bought this one new on Amazon. And Essentially, they're just a pump, air tank, and a trigger, and they happen to be situated kind of nicely. Now, because I've done all the rival stuff in the past, I already had about a dozen or two dozen different kinds of tubing and pipes, so it was really easy for me to just quickly slap this on and try a couple different tubes to see what worked best. Um, this one's actually a little loose fitting, but it shoots really hard. Um, I'm getting, on a single round, I can shoot about 200 feet per second for rival, and I've actually never seen anything shoot that high so far. And um, I can't really measure the shotgun performance, but it shoots about as far as an Atlas would, uh, except with this length tube, it's 11 balls. So now we're just gonna quick run some chronograph tests. This is a single headshot round, their newer formula, which I've been really good, I've been really happy with. Um, I'm actually going to be selling them on the Etsy shop pretty soon too. And this is uh, 15 pumps, just to see what that does. So we've got 171. Uh, this is 20 pumps. Now I have no idea if I'm gonna break this thing doing this. I would love if somebody could tell me if that's the case. But here's 20 pumps. There we got 212. Now this is 20 pumps with uh, the standard uh, stock rival from Hasbro. 199, again, pretty, pretty darn good. And lastly, here's 20 pumps with shotgun mode. So there's 11 various ball types inside here. Ah, it actually caught one that time, 102. So here's just a quick uh, firing test down range. You can see that that spread is just crazy good. So right now I'm about 35 to 40 feet away from the camera, uh, just pacing that off. And this is uh, 15 pumps. <laughs> if you were a person as the camera, I would have definitely got you, and that's at 35, 40 feet, and it went clear to the fence, probably 45-ish uh, feet. A few of them went over. <laughs> Pretty cool, if you ask me. These are really, I think, fascinating. Uh, this is just a proof of concept. I'm going to definitely do more uh, in the future with this. My next thought immediately is to have a uh, rotating turret with five or six barrels, a little bit like my blow strife, but powered by this, and again, for rival. And the reason I would go rival is because 11 rounds fit in this tiny little space. And so if I had five turrets going around, they could be magnetically locked and sealed with O-rings so that you can basically pump, rotate once, shoot. But anyway, I'd love to hear your other thoughts on this and where to go with it. I'm, this is definitely just the first I literally got it about an hour ago and started playing with it and was kind of amazed at how much power it has because this tank, um, I have no idea what PSI it runs at, but it's got a lot, a lot of power. And uh, thanks to the East Bay Nerf group, uh, there was a, a younger player there who actually introduced me to this this weekend uh, and showed me hands-on and let me fire his. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name because he's not 18 um, and I don't have permission, so. Uh, thanks again, you know who you are. And uh, also for anybody in the Bay Area, there's an East Bay Nerf group. I'll link them down in the description as well. They play at least one or two games a month. Some are on weekdays, some are weekends, and they're a really awesome group. It was, we had a blast. I think we had 84 people, I wanna say, uh, at the last game, and it was just total chaos and a blast. I think these drain blasters have a lot of potential. This is obviously super, super ugly. The first thing I'm gonna do after I figure out my design is figure out what kind of shell can I cram this in? Uh, I would also love to hear any of your thoughts from people who have done these before or know more about them. How long do they last? How many pumps should I be doing? There's, this just doesn't explain anything. It says 
Safe to use on most drains, not helpful to nerf. Powerful, great, that's helpful. Easy to use, okay. No harsh chemicals, great, I can eat it, I guess. Uh, and unclogs up to 20 drains. I'm not sure what up to 20 drains means. Um, I hope that doesn't mean it just breaks. Maybe it's up to 20 different kinds of drains. I think that's some bad English. Anyway, if you know more than me, let me know in the comments so I can uh, skip some of the research. I've done a little bit of reading online just to see what people were doing, but uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, I'm out of darts.